Hi, sweetie. I'm so sorry to hear about your mother. You were late. Well, I got here as soon as I could. I called a cab. Well, you didn't have to do that. I didn't want to miss my plane. My car is right out front. I told you. I called a cab. So what? Cancel the dumb cab. Damn it, love. She was supposed to be here half an hour ago. I'm sorry, sweetie. Something came up. Let me guess. Karen called one of the kids? Ladies and gentlemen, flight 194 from New York's LaGuardia Airport has arrived at gate 3. Flight 194 from New York's LaGuardia Airport has arrived at gate 3. Baggage for flight number 726 can be retrieved at the Beach. Baggage for flight number 726 can be retrieved at the Okay, we'll pick you up about 6.30.
Thanks. 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 Thanks
I know it's just a matter of time though before he's gonna go back. He's crazy about his kids. Anyway, I'm looking off and I'm just... <laughs> I know, why do I do this to myself? No, why? Your father abandoned you, your mother was a recluse. It's a wonder you're not more screwed up than you are. Because I have you to thank for that. Me? Yeah, you. You've always been my rock. My surrogate. Big sister. Oh, my God, so sick of New York. When I come here, I see how you and Dennis live. Your perfect family. Not. Great life. You have a dream career. You, you travel. My last vacation was a builder's convention in Reno two years ago. Oh, Reno. Yeah, Reno. <laughs> yeah. You might have made my choices. I mean, you think that it's most of Sometimes it gets lonely. Well, it's lonely when you're having kids. You don't get lonely. I don't really think kids are in my blueprint. Do you ever think about leaving New York? All the time. I've got a good reputation. I could probably live anywhere. If I stay the night. If? No, the security of the firm is tempting. Actually, there's a firm in San Francisco that I've been talking to, and they may be awesome. Yeah, you might take it. I don't know. I'm going to go meet with them when I'm here. I've been spending so much time thinking about college and standing up and Paul Hewitt, MD. And I'm just not sure if it's what I want anymore. Do you talk to your parents about this? <laughs> yeah. They didn't really understand. They were pretty upset. But they are. I mean, you don't understand them because it's always been their dream. But, Paul, you're a smart kid. You're going to land on your feet no matter what you do, but I hope you give this some serious thought. Stanhope's a good school. My mom called you, didn't she? Yeah, she did. You always told me to make up my own mind, and, and this is my decision. And I want you to make the right decision. Look, I'm sorry you and Dad had a job going to college, all right? But if I go, I'm going to go. Yeah. Because of, can I finish? If I go, I'm going to go because I want to go, not because you want me to. <laughs> is that what this is about? You don't want to go because it's what we want? <laughs> That's not what this is about. I'm late. I'm gonna go. Hello. Hello. How did you get this number? Well, good. But I told you, brother, I don't want 
can't talk to you about this anymore. You what? That is insane. I never said it. I never said such a thing. That's true. Life doesn't always move in a straight progression, and sometimes no matter how much you plan, it turn out like you pictured it. Well, it's fine as long as you're open to that and not afraid of it. Yep, gotta listen to the news. The what? News. Oh, uh, uh, I call my crazy Annie um, inspiration. The voice in your head that tells you that things are getting cozy and pretty good. You can shake it up because boredom is the eighth deadly sin. <laughs> so, when that voice starts to scream, I gotta listen to it. I gotta do something fast because if you don't, I'm gonna go crazy. And it is not gonna shut up. I definitely got one of those. Good. Listen to it, it'll take you to amazing places. Being so far apart next year? No, 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 I'm not worried about that. I mean, even if you do stay here next year, I'm going to be at UCLA. I probably wouldn't see each other any more often than we would if you were at Stanhope. What if I came to UCLA with you? What, you mean like go to school there? No, I mean come live there in, in your dorm or whatever. Living together? 
What do you do? I've always thought about a career in photography. I mean, I've got tons of great stuff. I can just throw it together in a portfolio and make the rounds. Sounds great, I guess. I mean, there's tons of opportunity in L.A. Sure, I'd have to be an apprentice for a little while, but it's no big deal. You're serious? Sure. Just blow off med school? Just like that? Maybe. I don't know. I, I just... I have this gut feeling that once I start pre-med, I'll uh, just never get out of it. But that's what you wanted. Picture that Paul gave me? Oh, yeah, I did see that. He's so sweet. He is such a great kid. I think so. I'm worried about him, though. What? Oh, he's scheduled to go to Stanhope next fall, and now he's thinking you're not going. Really? Why? I don't know. Why don't you and Dennis take me to the campus and show them around? We all do. Uh, I just want to say that. Yeah, something. Oh, my God. Where would Paul live with you when you go to San Francisco for your meeting? I don't know. We would pay all of his expenses. Anyway, I, I don't want to impose it, but it's not like you see it. You seem to speak the same language. I see I have Is this a dumb idea? Okay. Yeah. No, it's a Friday. She's going up Friday, and she's coming back Sunday. Mm-hmm. Look, I know you haven't made up your mind, and we're okay with that. Good. I'm going to say no. Check it out. See what you think. You guys sound just like Mr. Friends, you know that? I'll go. Go where? What's up? Paul's going to San Francisco with Nina. San Francisco? I'm just going to check out the campus. Oh, I am 
I'm so jealous. Ella. Great. Now I want to go even more. Service, pay per view, whatever. It's on them. All right. Uh, so, what, a couple hours? Ah, uh, well, after they impress the hell out of me with their offices, they're going to take me to dinner, so nine, ten. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks.
voila. Now your basket's complete. Oh. I'm trying to go. What? You're needing oh. you know, dinner. Good, good. Red carpet all the way. What can I say? They are crazy about me. Well, I'm... I saw him this morning. We've been here most of the day. The campus is really beautiful. Really. Sounds like you like it. It's amazing. We're having a blast. Can't wait to hear all about it. I love you, Mom. Yeah, you too. Say hi to Nina for us. All right, Mom. Bye-bye. Your wife is so smart. There's some soda in the refrigerator if you'd like one. No, 
Hey. Hi. What time is it? It's early. Why don't you come back to bed? going anywhere until you tell me everything. Oh, you give me that flatter. What? About Stanhope. Oh, um, I liked it. But yesterday you sounded pretty fired up about it. Did I? Did you get my message? No, sorry. So, how was your trip? It's good. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Well, my parents are going to some benefit site, so can you come over? Sure. Great. We'll see you later. I don't know if it's going to be successful or not. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Oh. 
How was Frisco, big guy? It was cool. Did you check out the strip clubs on North Beach like I told you to? No, man, I missed them. Oh, man, you visit Sin City and you act like a monk. What's wrong with you? Nothing. But I thought the meeting went well. It did. I'm just not ready to leave New York. So when are you going back? Soon? Oh. That's too bad. I gotta start tickets to the Long Beach Jazz Festival, and I was arranging a dinner party. And... Without asking me? I just assumed that you... Well, I am sorry. If I messed up your plans. So tell me about Stanhope. Think Paul liked him? Uh, yeah. I think he did. I can't tell. It's real hard to read these days. Well, you know, I, I, I think that he did like it, but... What? I think he's losing interest in being a doctor. He told you that? No, it's a feeling that I have. He's a really good photographer. What does that have to do with anything? That's where his heart is. No, it's just a hobby. Yeah, and hobbies can lead to great careers. Look where my doodling took me. Well, Paul could be a really fine photographer. He could do anything he set his mind to, but... Then why not let him? I think I know what's best for Paul, Nina. Maybe not. Sometimes a parent who is so involved in the situation can't always tell what's best for the child. How would you know? Why? She wants to get back to New York. When does she go? A couple of days. Well, I guess she couldn't stay forever. Can I be excused? Are you going home? I'm just going to go to Cindy's and study. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Say hi to Cindy. So long. See ya. Weird. Should we study first? What? Oh, what? You just don't seem very interested. No, I, I don't know. Oh, what's wrong? I gotta go. What? I'll call you tomorrow, Where okay? Are you? I'll call you tomorrow. Wait a second. Will you wait? Paul. you to go home. No. Look, all that happened was great, but we cannot...
in trouble. You're supposed to be hanged. Mom. Go home, Paul. Mom, talk to me. Now! I'll wait for you downstairs. I'm so sorry. You bitch. I didn't mean for this to happen. You no, just don't. Did. Don't you dare try to explain this to me. I should have you arrested. And if you see Paul again, if you talk to him again, I will. I swear to God, I will. That's right. There's only one side of the story, Abby. He's like, you don't even know why he was here. Get out of my way! Paul, upstairs? Hey, it's in his room. He stormed in a little while ago. Abby, what's going on? Abby? Come in. This isn't your fault. Nina is a very seductive woman. <laughs> she didn't seduce me, Mom. I've known her most of my life, Paul. I know how she operates. Nina and I like each other. We like spending time together. I, what's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. I don't think so. You can't stop me from seeing her. As long as you're living in this house, I can, and I will. What the hell is going on? Where's Ella? What? what? She's down in the den watching TV? What's going on? Paul's sleeping with Nina. What? He was just over there tonight. Oh, for God's sake. I think we should call the police. The police? He's just a boy, Dennis, at statutory rape. Abby, he's 18 years old. Well, we gotta do something. Isn't she going back to New York? You're not upset at this, are you? Of course I am. Paul's sleeping with Nina. It's shocking, it's, it's, it's inappropriate, but it's not wrong, is it? I didn't say that. Of course well, it's why wrong. Why pass up an opportunity to get a little? Stop it. So what if he completely screws up his life? He's just doing what a guy's gotta do, right? As long as I'm living here, I don't want to live here anymore. Paul! Don't you dare leave! Paul! Unfreaking believable. <laughs> Gulliver, you gotta promise me you're not gonna tell anybody. No, I promise. No, no really. Of course, I promise. <sighs> Man, she's incredible. I've never met anybody like her. So, um, does she know, like, all kinds of tricks and stuff, or what? And I'm just asking. No, no it, it's not about the sex. I'm telling you. It, there's so much more to it than that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so what? You, like, in love with her? Uh, I don't know. It's definitely not like it is with Cindy, though. So what are you going to do? She's going back to New York. Are you going to go with her? I don't know. Everything's changed. Everything. Paul here? No. Do you know where he is? I haven't seen him since last night. Abby told me about last night. 
Well, if you came here to read me the riot act, you can save your breath. She already did that. Abby has a right to be upset, Nina, and so do I. No, be upset. He's a kid. He's a lot more together than most adults I know. What were you thinking? I wasn't thinking, okay? I spent time with somebody who was really terrific and passionate and fun. And I went with it. You know what that's like, Dennis, don't you? Or have you forgotten? No. No, I haven't forgotten. Stay away from him, Nina. Or what? If he comes by, tell him his mother and I want to see him. I want to know what's going on. I don't have time to talk right now. Why did you run out on me like that last night? I'm going to be late for class. Paul, can we just talk Would you just leave me alone, OK? to look for you. I, uh, I moved out. I'm staying with a friend. Look, I just want you to know that I don't feel bad about anything. I don't. I mean, you're, you're terrific. I, I just wanted you to know that before you went back to New York. I'm not going back. Why not? Going back to New York is just running away, and I don't want to do that. I don't care what Abby or Dennis or anybody thinks. I, it's nobody's business who I spend my time with. And I want to spend it with you. So what are you saying? I'm saying you're the sweetest, most wonderful thing that's happened to me in a long time. stay here, that's for sure. Every time I open a closet, I think my mother's gonna jump in. <laughs> oh. mm. So what's your place like in New York? Mm. It's a big loft. Really? You know, I heard they're uh, converting all the warehouses into lofts downtown. Maybe we could get one of those. I guess we could take a look. Uh, think about it. Like, a place with a lot of light, I could build a dark room. You make it sound so easy. Well, it is. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you easy. <laughs> Ella! Come on, kiddo, we're gonna be late. Dennis, I need to talk to you. Why don't you give us a second? He just spoke to Gulliver. And? Paul's moving in with Nina. She's not going back to New York. Well, at least they're not running away together. 
Damn it, Dennis, is that the best you can do? Let's be smart here. I mean, we tried tough love, and that didn't work. Psych 101, the more we try to keep them apart, the more they're going to want to be together. Well, what are we supposed to do? Stand around and do nothing while she ruins his life? Look, Paul's a terrific kid, not least because we've had him for 18 years, and if we've done as good a job as I think we have, he'll, he'll come around. He's not going to want to keep playing house with her. Well, you'd know, wouldn't you? What? He's thinking with his crotch, Dennis. That wipes out 18 years. That wipes out everything. Look at us. Where would we be if we'd been thinking instead of sleeping together in 1978? Well, right here, I hope, together with two great kids. We have a good life, Abby. Well, it could have been a whole lot better. Paul's not coming home, is he? Well, it's kind of complicated. Paul and Nina care about each other. What's so wrong with that? It just is, sweetheart. You just don't understand how complicated Right. Because I'm a kid and you're the adult. Right? Well, adults are supposed to make things better, not worse. We're not making it worse. Well, you're not making it better, are you? you'd be home. I just came by to pick up some extra stuff. You still over at Nina's? Yeah. We're looking to get our own place together. Where are you? You know, uh, Della's birthday on Saturday, or we're having a, a party. But, uh, I'd mean the world to her if you'd come. Is Nina invited? I don't think your mother would like that. And I can't come. Paul, you cannot blame her for being upset. I mean, damn it, you're sleeping with your best friend. Look, she's got some old issues to work out. I mean, she's, I mean, all her, her hopes for you, her plans. Dad, I, I can't live mom's life for her. No, no, but you can consider her feelings. Look, I think you're making a terrible mistake here. You're, you're setting things in motion that you, you just have no idea about. But it is your decision, and, and you just have to live with the consequences. Whatever happens, this is your home. Always will be. You remember that. Where are you 
doing here? You surprised? You didn't think I was going to let you just disappear out of my life forever, did you? I am not part of your life, Robert. Not anymore. Hey, listen. I left Karen for you. I'm divorcing her. And I didn't ask you to do that. I thought that's what you wanted. Maybe a long time ago, but we're way past that now. This is Robert, an old friend. How do you do? Hi. Robert and I have some business that we have to discuss. night I met you, a little voice inside me said, this woman's trouble, Robert. You know, you should walk away from her now and fast. And I wish to God I had. How old is that boy anyway? Do you even care? Would you leave? Did he leave his family for you? Did you break a few more hearts just to sweeten the pot? You broke Karen's heart, Robert, and you would have broken mine. Now get out of my house. You're sick, Nina. She said it was over with Robert. It is. You said he would never leave his wife, and that's why you broke up with him. Yes. But now he's divorcing her. So? So are you guys getting back together or what? Of course not. Well, he sure must think so to come all the way out here. People believe what they want to, Paul. Even if it isn't true. Maybe that's what we're doing. What do you mean? Maybe we're just pretending this is going to work, and uh, it isn't. about this. It's OK. 
kind of slutty. <laughs> so should I try it on? Ella. Look, I'll be back in a minute, okay? Sure. Hey, Nina. Ella, hi. I didn't know you shopped here. Just browsing. Yeah, me too. How are you? Great. Good. Listen. I'm glad I ran into you because mom and dad are throwing me this like massive party Saturday afternoon. It's like probably gonna be really lame, but I'd like you guys to come. You and Paul. Abby wouldn't like it, Ellen. No, actually, I talked to her, and she said it would be okay. Really? Well, yeah, I mean, she's still all weirded out about you and Paul, but, I mean, she said this is only, like, my most important birthday in the whole world, so she said it would be like a ceasefire or something. Are you sure? Look, I was going to call you tonight. I'll talk to Paul. Great. Ella. Look, I've got to get going, but I guess I'll see you on Saturday. We'll see. Okay. Bye. Bye. What are you doing? It's okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, let me guess. Car parts. They live it out of a suitcase. So then why don't we just take a little trip to New York and pick up the rest of your stuff? Oh, I think you just want a free trip. Uh, busted. Speaking of busted, I ran into Ella. Really? How is she? She's gonna be 16 on Saturday, and there's a party. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, my dad told me. Oh, you going? Mm, I don't know. Well, Ella invited me. I mean, us. She said that Abby's willing to lay down the sword, at least for that afternoon. Really? So do you want to go? I don't know. I'm not so sure it's the best time for a family reunion. Well, we can't spend the rest of our lives avoiding my family. Maybe this is just my mom's way of patching things up without losing face. I don't know. But you should go. You know how much it means to Ella. No, no, we're in this together. I'm not going unless you go with me. Let me think about it, okay? Sure. You're just starting those now? I love you, too. Hurry up! Oh, Heather, hi! I'm so glad you came. I need you to help me with the cake and the candles. I'm gonna find out. Huh. All right. Ready? Think we have enough of these? Yeah, we do. What, you look like you just saw a ghost? I did. Hey, happy birthday. <laughs> 
Who's here? I'll be damned. You gotta open this present. Oh, I'm telling you, it's the best one I've got. I'm so glad you showed up. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Hey, Dad. Hey, How's it going? It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Glad you made it. What are you doing here? Get the hell out of here! Get out of here! No! 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 I invited her. You invited her? Why? To humiliate me? No, of course not. Why? You're not would welcome I... here. Not now, not ever. I'm sorry. Ella, honey. Ella. Thanks a lot, Mom. I want to talk to you. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> That bitch ruined Ella's party. She didn't ruin anything. You attacked her in front of everyone. Oh, that's right. Take her side. I, I'm taking Ella's side. This is Ella's party. It's I will not day. have that woman in you my house. Ella! Ella! <laughs> will you wait a second? Ella! Ella! I see you. Dr. Walker, please report to the Nurse Sprint, please stop the operator. Nurse Sprint, please stop the operator. How is she? We don't know yet. But they're hopeful. How's Ella? She's, uh, she's gonna be okay. She bruised her collarbone and broke one of her legs, but, um, she was pretty lucky. I'm, I'm real tired. I'm gonna head upstairs. doing here? We have to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I'm not leaving until we do. Five minutes. Well, have gotten pretty screwed up, haven't they? What did you expect? Not this, Abby. I never expected any of this. No, yeah, you never meant for this to happen. You never do. No, of course not. But that doesn't mean that you and I shouldn't... I mean, Tell me were... something, Nina. Did you go after Paul for the sheer perversity of it? Or was it a chance to get back at me for Dennis? What? That summer after my sophomore year. You think I don't know what happened? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, sure you do. I went to San Diego for a long weekend, and while I was gone, you slept with my boyfriend. Dennis told you? No, he didn't have to. 
God, I could practically smell them on you when I got back. I didn't think you knew. Yeah, and you're still in the same rut, aren't you, Nina? Still starting affairs that can't possibly go anywhere. Or if they do have a future, finding a way to ruin them. Well, you ruined that one for me, Abby. What, by getting pregnant? Give me a break. Getting pregnant changed my whole life. You think that it's me you're mad at, but it isn't. It's you. You are always beating yourself up for the great life that you think you missed out on. Well, you had better get over it and fast, or you were going to miss the great life that you have now. Don't you lecture me about my life. You don't have any sense of my reality or anybody else's. You do what you want. You go where you please. You think that makes you strong. Well, you don't connect with anybody, Nina. You're too damn selfish. Oh, that is so unfair. Are you and... thinking about Paul at all? About how he's going to feel when you get tired of him? Because you will. Yeah, you think I'm pissed off about my life? Yeah, maybe I am sometimes. But I love my family. And I love my son. Who do you love, Nina? That feels like five minutes to me. Great. Liar. Cooking is not my best feature. Well, you could have fooled me. Close your eyes. What for? Just close them. Well, I've got something for you. Come on, really? Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to give it to you if you don't. Okay. They're closed. Okay, we can open them. Open it. some for me. I'm going back to New York. I have a lot of business I have to take care of there, and I'm already going stir crazy here, so. It's fine. I'll just uh, go back with you. No. Me to go with you? This isn't gonna work, and you know that. No, uh, I don't. Yeah, the past couple of days have been hard. You're already but... thinking about moving home, and that's where you belong. Would you be sorry on my account ever? Here. 
Look at oh, you're doing great. Yeah. There you go. Hungry? No. Chicken soup? No. Too much hospital food? <laughs> Here you go. I made these myself. <laughs> Up. And. Oh, is that hard? Yeah. Adam, yeah. here you go. Okay, that's better. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. More in the car? Yeah. I'll get it. Well, I still don't know what I'm doing. you guys. But as far as Stan Hope goes, uh, I just don't know. Okay. But you gotta let me figure it out on my own, even if I decide to do something that you don't like. I'll try, Paul. I found this among mother's effects. I nigh debated whether to send it to you or not. Remember these two? Braces was going to be a famous artist, and Pigtails was going to find a cure for stomach aches. Abby, you ask me who I love. I won't apologize for finding that with Paul, but I do regret the hurt that I caused you and your family. Perhaps one day you will forgive me. Perhaps one day we'll speak again. I had this picture copied and framed. It sits on my desk. Amazing how it brightens the room. Love, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> 